Hello, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to talk about string functions in VB scripting. If you see here, I have declared a variable yes, hello world. Part of that is in lower case, part of that is in upper case. Now I have used a command called len. L-E-N will give you the number of characters in that particular string. The command ucase or this function ucase will convert the whole string into uppercase. Same way, this one lcase will convert the whole string into lowercase. So let us execute this. Strings are given within double quotes. Let us execute this one vbs3. Uh, now if you see here the length is 11, then the whole string converted to uppercase then the whole string converted to lower case. So these are very simple functions, string functions that we can use. We will see some of the character extraction functions from the string. In this script, I have given three character extraction commands, left, right, and mid. If you pass the string and a number, this means get me the leftmost seven characters from that string. Then I am printing left greater than greater than and then again this is just a string to make sure we get the output in a formatted way. Now this is get me the rightmost seven characters from the string S. This says from the string S starting from third position give me five characters. So this is, you are extracting characters from within a string. Now let us execute this. The leftmost characters are hello, space, and then w. The rightmost seven characters are this, o, then the space world. Then starting from the third position, l, l, o, space, w. If you look here, this is the first position, this is the second position, this is the third position. Unlike C, this is not zeroth position, this is the first position. So you can say one, two, three. So get me the first three characters, it will start in this way. So these are the character extraction commands in a string. String operations and functions are heavily used. As you have seen here, this ampersand sign is the concatenation symbol. This is one string. And then I am concatenating that with whatever I have got in this one. So that is why it is getting printed. Now we are going to see some more string functions which are useful in our day-to-day -day operations. Now in this script, I have declared this variable with this value. If you carefully look at it, there are two leading spaces and there are two trailing spaces. Now there is a command str reverse. This will completely reverse the string. What I have done is I have given a, a greater than less than symbol to make sure that you will know where the string starts and where the string ends. So within this, this these two symbols the string will be embedded and it will be very clear for you to see that. So this is reversing of the string. Yeltrim, yeltrim meaning it will remove the leading spaces. When you say R trim, it will remove the trailing spaces. If you use the word trim or the function trim, it will remove both leading and trailing spaces. Let us execute this and then see how it works. This is the completely reversed string. If you see here, there are two spaces, two spaces. It completely reversed the string in one stroke. Now, L trim, if you see here, it has removed the leading spaces, so you could see this greater than symbol next to that, but the trailing spaces were not removed over here. Now, this is the right trim, the trailing spaces are removed here, but the leading spaces are not removed over here. The moment we say trim, both the leading space and the trailing space are removed from the string. So in string, we have got a variety of functions, left, right, mid, length, uppercase, lowercase, then reverse, trim, or trim, l trim, etc. Again, we can find whether a string is present in another string. We will find that out now. If you see in this particular string, this is a very long string. 
hello world this is great I have used a function INSTR it has got three parameters first parameter is the position from which you want to search for a string this means in this string in this string S starting from position 1 find whether there is another string THIS is present or not if it is present this X will give you the position in which this is appearing for example this is uh, first position 1 2 3 4 5 it will give you this position number if this string does not exist it will return 0 let us execute and then see this INSTR is saying position 14 so if you go back to this string this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and this is saying this this is appearing in the 14th position okay now the moment I say starting from look at this string that okay execute that now see what happens this is 0 that means this word that doesn't exist in this particular string okay so if you are, if I do this once again this and then execute once again it says 14 that means a positive number meaning it is appearing in that position okay if it is giving 0 that means it is not this particular word is not in this string in this position for example this word exists is there in this particular string but if I say search from 18th position okay search from 18th position whether this exists let us execute this it still says 0 you know this string is there THIS is contained in this but what you are saying is start looking from the 18th position somewhere from here look whether this appears it doesn't appear so depending upon it is always better to give starting position 1 from this position search to make sure you are doing a left to right scan of that particular string to find whether this string is present in this string starting from this position so better to search from position 1 the string commands are large and they are extremely useful in day to day operations because in most of the business applications what you see there on the screen they are all mostly messages and uh, text information so you need to process a lot of textual information using string functions in VB, VB scripting we will end this session here thank you